The pack trip is where we take a multi-day horse excursion into the backcountry away from the roads and the crowds. That I take people into the backcountry and I show them the backcountry, but you don't just show people Yellowstone because people don't understand what they're looking at. When they come to Yellowstone, they like, wow, trees, and they see fish, and they see the geysers and the thermal things, and they don't really understand what they're looking at. There's something unique about Yellowstone. The phrase that we have used is that Yellowstone was my siren. It kept calling me back. Fly fishing back here is, is an opportunity to fish wild fish in a wild place. I mean, that's what Yellowstone's about. Fly fishermen, especially the ones that we deal with, like through Yellow Dog and other, they do these excursions around the world looking for, you know, remote places to go fly fishing. And, and here, they can do it in the United States. I mean, this is, you know, one of those remote places to go fly fishing. That I was created to do this. I just am designed to be a guide. I can reach the top of my mules and I can walk through tall grass. It's part of just, you're built that way. But he made me like that again because being in the backcountry, it's like home. We provide everything. You bring your clothes, your toothbrush, your camera, your fishing gear, you know, whatever you want to do uh, for that particular trip. And we provide everything else. We set up all the tents, saddle all the horses, do all the work so that you can go back and relax and enjoy the backcountry. And it's not just roughing it. Because uh, roughing it's great uh, to a certain extent, but we want you to come back and enjoy yourself. So if, if, if we can cook good meals for you, we can provide uh, certain amenities for you, then you can be comfortable back here. That's what we want to do. Our modern first world has lost touch with the backcountry, lost touch with the wilds. When I take folks into the backcountry and to walk through a meadow and feel the flowers and the, and the dew on your fingers or the rain on your hands, that's getting in touch with the wild. So I want to teach them, I want to help them understand the wilds and, and really feel the wilds. And when you don't have a sense of wildness, you lose the value of, of the wild places. And after a while, the wild places just go away. And Yellowstone was the flagship national park. Uh, people saw this and said, this is something that needs to be set aside and preserved for future generations. And that's my job. My job is to help them get connected by interpreting what they're looking at. It's a foreign language. They don't understand it. And if I can interpret it for them, then they can understand the land, they can understand the air, they can understand the whole thing. So I like to think that a guide is an interpreter of the wild.